Madam President, today is Kashmir Solidarity Day. It's a time for us to reflect on the many Kashmiris who have been killed, raped, tortured and injured in their plight for self-determination over the past 70 years. They're not asking for charity. They're asking for their rights promised to them through UN resolutions. The world cannot turn a blind eye to the grave human rights violations suffered daily in the Indian-controlled Kashmir. The use of pellet guns on children as young as nine is despicable and has been condemned by Amnesty International. Their use must be banned and the Public Safety Act needs to be reformed so that Indian soldiers are accountable for their actions. We need change, progress and action, not just words on this issue. If we cannot get justice for the Kashmiris, then there will be no regional peace. Markets and trade can never be more important than lives and human rights. I pay tribute to all those people that have given their lives to the cause and I salute the Kashmiri resilience to this oppression. Their sacrifices must never be forgotten and we need to support the occupied Kashmiris to stop their persecution and suffering as well as finally giving them their right to self-determination. Thank you, Madam President.